All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going here. Start me off. Where to go here? Top of the $1,000 opening. Welcome back. Now, my perspective has been developed over 30 years of purchasing as an investor and guiding and training others on how to earn money with tax defaulted property. This government program has been available for over 200 years. So the system is mandated and executed by the local county government. And if property owners don't pay their property tax, the local government, the treasurer, is going to confiscate the property. And when that property is confiscated, the local government doesn't want it. So what are they going to do with it? They're going to auction it off for a very low price. Could be only the back taxes. How about go there? How about they do auction it off? They're actually going to cancel and wipe out the mortgage. So the local county is getting their direction from the legislature of the state and from the county board of supervisors or the county commissioners. And what they're going to do is they're going to levy a tax. And if the tax can be collected, everything's fine. If they can't collect the tax, they're going to send due process notice and they're going to confiscate that property. And then what they're going to do is they're going to sell it so that they can get money to pay the property tax. Now, why do they need the money for property tax? So they can pay the county employees, so they can pay the fire department, pay the police department, and think about the firefighters, county employees, and so on. So property tax, in most cases, is what pays the county employees. So they're going to be very diligent about doing these auctions. So all 3,000 plus counties in the United States are authorized to do these auctions. Now, for those of you that want the details on each of those states, and whether it's a non-redeemable or a redeemable deed, I have a blog. So it's tedthomas.com. You've got that forward slash FAQS, another forward slash tax deed states forward slash again. All right. So you can go there and you can download. It's a blog. It's probably 15, might even, be even 20 pages. And then you'll have a lot of in-depth information that I wouldn't have time to get through in the short videos. Most tax defaulted auction sell to the highest bidder. And when they do that, it's a non-redeemable deed. In other words, the property owner cannot come back and, buy, and do anything. It's a final auction and it's going to be all over. So a lot of people are asking me questions about this. So what's the episode we're talking about today? What are tax deed states with no redemption period? So what I want you to do is go to the blog and read up on this. But I'm going to talk to you about the states that have no redemption and the ones that do have redemption. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24 seven. All right. Now the small population counties, they're going to have dozens of properties. They might have up to a hundred properties. They're going to auction off. All right. Those will be non redeemable. That means it's final. Okay. All right. Now the large population counties, they're going to have hundreds and sometimes a thousand or 1500 properties that they're going to auction off. They will be auctioning non redeemable deeds. Now I'm going to talk about the redeemable. So you get that. The common question is, what is a redeemable tax deed? Well, there's only a few states that have redeemable. So I'll give you those in just a minute. But our episode today is what are the tax deed states with no redeemable? This is the point where many student investors get themselves confused and discouraged. All right. So let's give you a little guidance. A coach is going to do that. A mentor is going to do that. They can almost create miracles for you. So the best investment that you're ever going to make is going to be in a coach. Why? Because you don't know what you don't know. Now, in my experience, when I started asking other people, successful people for guidance, well, guess what happened? When they started sharing their answers, I started making some notes and then my career started moving. Why? Because those people had experience. So I wasn't out guessing, thinking I knew what was going on. I was getting 
real business decisions from people that knew what they were doing. Now, it's pretty intimidating to get to know something new and make tough decisions when you don't know what the heck you're doing. So either a coach or a mentor or someone that's got experience, you need successful people in your camp. Otherwise, you need a coach. If you don't have a coach, I'm telling you right now, you're missing the boat. Now, from time to time in my classes, I'm going to refer to redeemable tax deeds. The majority of deeds are not redeemable. So the particular states that auction redeemable deeds are unique. Now, they're going to have a public auction. And when they have that public auction, the highest bidder will get the property. However, they will get a redeemable deed. That means the property owner can come back and pay money and be able to get their property back. Now, what kind of money do they have to pay? They're going to have to pay whatever you paid for that redeemable deed plus a penalty. All right, now this really confuses a lot of people. All right, so the state allows the property owner in the redeemable state to come forward and pay 100% of what the bidder paid and pay the required penalty. So if you had a state like Georgia, they could come in and pay whatever you paid, all right, and then give you a 20% penalty, and you'd have to give them back the redeemable deed. In Texas, to give you an example, they'd have to come forward, pay you 100% of what you paid, and pay 25%. All right, now I'm taking the time to go through this slowly because this is a big confusion for a lot of people, and that's why this is where coaching comes in. You don't want to do this wrong, because if you do it wrong, you're going to have your hands full. All right, so the return that you're paying, or that you're receiving, either way, the penalty is exactly that. It's a penalty. It's not an interest rate of return. All right, now let me further explain the situation. Redeemable needs are just exactly what I said, redeemable. So that means when you raised your hand at the auction and you got a deed in Georgia or Texas or a redeemable state, well, you've got the deed to the property, but the property owner can come forward anytime they want. They can come forward in 20 days, 50 days, whatever it is. When they come forward, they're going to have to pay you whatever you paid at the auction plus a penalty. So the redeemable states, the, the property is redeemable for the owner, and they have to pay you 100% of what you invested, and they're going to have to pay you a penalty. So I hope you got that. Now, the penalty applies from one day to day 365. So if you bought one today and they paid you tomorrow, you're going to get the full amount of the penalty. You're going to get all your money back plus the full amount of the penalty. All right, now redeemable deeds are in these states. You're going to have Georgia. You're going to have Texas. You're going to have Rhode Island. You're going to have Connecticut. You're going to have uh, Tennessee. But I want you to keep in mind, just because I'm making a video doesn't mean that the legislature isn't changing the rules. So I'm giving them, you the redeemable states right now, and then I'm going to show you how you make money in those states. All right, those are all redeemable states now, but that could change tomorrow afternoon. All right, so let's go back and kind of look at this. Let's talk a little bit about Texas, okay? So if you purchased a deed in Texas, any one of the 254 counties can have an auction. When they sell it, the deed is redeemable. So you raise your hand at the auction, you got a deed to the property. So that property owner now has... 180 days to come forward, pay you whatever you paid, and a 25% penalty. So I'll give you an example, and I'll use Harris County, and I'll use the city of Houston, which is right in the middle of Harris County. All right, so you show up at the auction, you have your cash, you check this property out. Now, what have you done? Well, you drove out there and you looked at it, you checked and see what you could sell it for later. You've done all your due diligence. Turns out the property's worth $400,000. All right, so you're in Houston, Texas, and the bidding starts, and the bidding goes 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. All right, and then suddenly a woman in front of you stops bidding, but another woman on another side of the room determined to get the property, she bids $100,000. Well, doesn't that sound like a good deal? $400,000 property, and she bids $100,000. Well, guess what? She's pretty, she's pretty darn happy, all right? But if we follow along and see what happens, all right, so about a month and a half later, she gets a call from an attorney, and the attorney says, well, congratulations. I understand you bought a tax deed on Mr. So-and-so's property, and now he wants to redeem. How much do we owe you? Well, I can tell you right now, he knows exactly how much he owes you. But you say, well, he's going to owe me 
whatever I paid, plus the 25% penalty, plus if the county has any associated fees. And he said, okay, so he now is going to pay you, or he's going to pay for that tax deed. When he pays for the tax deed, he's going to have to pay $100,000 plus the 25% penalty. Well, think about the person that just made that money. They just got their $100,000 back and they got $25,000 got $25, profit, and they did that in a couple of months. Now, if you could do that in Wall Street, you'd be feeling like uh, you did quite well. You, if you did that on real estate, you'd feel you were doing quite well. Well, this woman did quite well because she bought a property for 100000 but it was a redeemable deed, so the people came back and they paid her the $100,000 plus the penalty, and she's going to be pretty darn happy. All right, now everybody in business is going to give you advice. Everybody in the tax lien and tax deed business is going to give you advice. Now you're going to get advice from old people, young people. All your friends are going to give you advice. You'll even get advice from people that don't even like you. Well, folks, what's the problem? The problem is none of these people can give you advice unless they've studied tax liens and deeds. That's why you'd hire a coach to do that, to help you out with that. All right, so you're going to have to learn this part of the business because all of the people that are trying to help, they're not really, they're not bad people. Their problem is they don't have any experience and they're not going to be able to help you out. So there's plenty of opportunity in this business, but you need to learn how to do it. I would say, think about a coach or a mentor. They'll accelerate your learning. All right, so this system works. And why does it work? Because it's been tested. It's been perfected. It, people that have worked in the trenches for years are going to teach you how to do it. This is a business where people make money when money's on the line. So my name is Ted Thomas. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.